Hi, my name's Tractor Ted, and this is the farm where I live. Here is the farmhouse. Do you know who lives here? Farmer Tom and Midge the dog. Here is Farmer Tom. He pulls on his wellies ready for work. And here is Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. There is always lots of work to do on the farm. I wonder what they're going to do today. Let's go and see. Farmer Tom has come to help Les with some fencing. Hello, Les. Oh, look, Cheeky Midge has hopped out of the car. She wants to have a look too. She is having a lovely look around the field. Les shows Farmer Tom some fencing which needs to be done. Okay. Do you know where fence posts come from? Let's go and see. This special machine is called a harvester and it's used to chop down trees. Here comes the driver. Up into the cab he goes. Today he is going to cut down some trees that will be made into fence posts. The harvester has lots of big wheels to help it drive over bumpy ground. Wow, it is very bumpy here. The harvester is cutting down a huge tree. It is so clever, it can cut the branches off. And it can even chop it up. Look, there's only one tree left. Wow! The trees have been cut into big logs ready to be taken to the sawmill. Back at the farm, the children have come to look at Farmer Tom and Les put in some new fence posts. That way a bit. The posts need to go in nice and straight. A bit more. Too much. Back a bit. A bit more. Oh, watch out, Les. Whoa. Too much. Whoa. That way now. The children love watching. Whoa. <laughs> Les is having a problem getting it straight. It isn't very easy. A bit more. Whoa. 
That's better, Les. Well done. All right, Les. I wonder what's happened to all those logs. Oh, look. They've been collected and are at the sawmill already. The lorry is full. First, it is way to see how many logs it is carrying. Look at the big wheels. Can you see how many there are? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. The driver sits on a crane and lifts the logs off the back of the lorry. Look how many there are. At the sawmill, they can be made into lots of things. Let's go and see. how many logs the loader can carry. It puts them down carefully. Oops! Watch out, you've dropped one. go into the sawmill. The sides are cut off the logs with a machine. Then they move along and are cut again. can be made into all sorts of things. These ones have been made into long, square posts. I wonder how Farmer Tom and Les are getting on. That's all right there, Les. Yeah. That one looks good. Wow! Yeah. They have finished all the fencing. Yeah, no, that's all right as well. What a good job. Now the sheep will be able to move into this field and they won't be able to escape. It's the end of another long day. Farmer Tom has finished his work and is back at the farmhouse. Come on, Midge. Midge has had a fun day too. My name's Tractor Ted, and this is the farm where I live. Here is the farmhouse. 
Do you know who lives here? Farmer Tom and Midge the dog. Here is Farmer Tom. He pulls on his wellies ready for work. And here is Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. You're supposed to get in the car, Midge. Oops, sorry. There is always lots of work to do on the farm. I wonder what they're going to do today. Let's go and see. Farmer Tom has come to help his friend get some cows in. Look, Les is here too. Before the cows are brought in, they need to make their food. The red loader uses its big spikes to pick up a bale of silage. The netting that holds the bale together is taken off. Whoops, watch out, you dropped some. The bale is lifted high into the air. And dropped into the feed wagon. Now the farmer is putting on a huge scoop. Picks up the last bit of silage. And adds it to the feed wagon. Now the loader collects some yummy corn. Cow's food is all done. Now it's time to get their bed ready. Let's go and see. The cows are going to be put in this big barn to keep them nice and dry. And this straw will make a cosy bed. The children have come to help too. Playing in the straw is fun. Oh, and look who else is here. It's Cheeky Midge. She loves to run and sniff in the straw. Everyone is helping spread it out. Even Midge is helping. Clever dog. All done. It's time to get the cows in. 
Come on, Mitch. The fields are getting very muddy, so it's time for the cows to come in. Here they come. I bet they're looking forward to their nice, cosy barn. The farmers walk the cows out of the field and down the track. <laughs> I think the cows want to talk to the children. Hello, children. How are you? Oh, no. One of them won't come in. Farmer Tom needs some help. Over here, Mr Cow. Come on, you need to keep up with the others. They walk the cows down to the barn. Into the barn they go. Well done, Farmer Tom. Well done, Les. Oh, no! Silly Les hasn't shut the gate properly. The cows are going to escape. Quick, Les, shut the gate! Phew! Well done. None of them managed to escape. The cows are all nice and cosy in the barn. Now it's time to feed them. Do you remember what this is? It's the feed wagon, full of yummy food for the cows. The farmer takes the feed wagon over to the barn. He drives slowly along the row. All the mixed up feed shoots out of the bottom for the hungry cows to eat. The cows really love their food. How many can you see? Shall we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. The cows have all been fed. They are all warm and cosy in their barn. It's the end of another long day. Farmer Tom has finished his work and is back at the farmhouse. Midge has had a fun day too. Come on, Midge. Hi, my name's Tractor Ted, and this is the farm where I live. Here is the farmhouse. Do you know who lives here? Farmer Tom and Midge the dog. Here is Farmer Tom. And here is Midge the dog. 
She's very cheeky. There is always lots of work to do on the farm. I wonder what they're going to do today. Let's go and see. Farmer Tom has come to see the horses. Here is Henry, off for a ride on his pony. Hello, Henry. I hope you have a nice time. Farmer Tom is giving the horses some yummy orange carrots. Can you hear them crunching them? He walks along and checks that the horses are happy. Oh, look! Cheeky Midge has hopped out of the car. She wants to check on the horses too. Morning, Midge. We are having some yummy carrots. Oh, I like carrots too. Yum, yum! Do you know how carrots grow? Let's go and see. Here is a field full of them. They are all ready to harvest. The children have come to get some for their supper. Carrots grow in the ground and the children have to pull them up. How big's that one? There are some big ones and some little ones too. Hello, little guy. <laughs> Look how many he has got. Oh, how many is there? Can you count? One, two, three, four, five. Off we go. They will have them for their supper. This huge field is full of carrots. How are they going to pull them all up? Let's go and see. Here is a tractor with a topper on the front. As it drives along, it chops all the tops off the carrots. Once that job is done, it's time for the harvester. I'm the harvester, come and see me chuck. From dawn to dusk I drive through fields, digging up the mud. I dig up carrots. Oh, I love carrots. I'm a harvester. I'm a harvester, up and down I trek. Driving in a perfect line to make sure I collect all my carrots. Oh, I adore carrots. I'm a harvester. I don't know where all my carrots go, but if you're lucky, you might eat one tonight. As I go, I have to separate the dirt from each and every load. I just want carrots. Oh, I live for carrots. I'm a harvester. Oh, I don't know where all my carrots go. But if you're lucky, you might eat one tonight. Here is a tractor has to drive along quite slowly. When it is full, it drives off with a trailer full of carrots. Now it has to empty them into another trailer. The arm lifts up and reaches over into position. Wee! In go the carrots. Wow. 
What a lot there are. Back at the farm, Les has a busy day ahead. Oh, no! The door to his tractor is locked. What will he do? He can't remember where he put the keys. He is looking everywhere for them. Can you see them? Alfie, will you come and help me find my keys? I don't know what I'm done with them. Alfie has seen them and runs over to help. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're a good lad. Oh, silly Les. That's good. Now he can get on with his work. <laughs> I'm glad that Les has found his keys. Isn't he silly? Can you guess what is in the lorry? I will give you a clue. They grow in the ground and are orange. It's all the carrots from the field. They go over lots of wheels to shake off all the dirt. It looks like they're dancing. First, the carrots are washed. Next, they go into a great big machine which makes them all sparkly and clean. Then they get dropped into big boxes. The forklift arrives to pick them up. It gives the box a good shake so the carrots don't fall out. Don't you think the carrots look yummy? There is just one more job to do. Here are some going into bags. They are sealed up to keep them fresh. Now they are all ready to go to the shop. It's the end of another long day. Farmer Tom has finished his work and is back at the farmhouse. Midge has had a fun day too. I wonder if they will have some yummy carrots for supper. Are you ready? Trenton Ted is asleep in his shed as the cockerel says good morning. So much to do, Farmer Tom and Midge too. My name's Tractor Ted, and this is the farm where I live. Here is the farmhouse. Do you know who lives here? Farmer Tom and Midge the dog. Here is Farmer Tom. He's pulling on his wellies ready for work. And here is Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. Hello, Tractor Ted. There is 
there's always lots of work to do on the farm. I wonder what they'll be doing today. Let's go and see. Farmer Tom has come to see the sheep. Oh, look, Les is here too. <laughs> Someone else wants to have a look. It's Cheeky Midge. You look like a funny little sheep. And you look like a big woolly dog. Catch me if you can. You are cheeky. Today, the sheep are going to be milked. But before that, Farmer Tom needs to clean up. Les helps him sweep away the old feed. Hello, Farmer Tom. How are you today? A blue tractor pushes out the bedding. It has a scoop on the front and a scraper on the back. Can you hear the noise of the tractor? The tractor scrapes away the old feed too. It makes a neat pile and scoops it up. Then it tips it onto the big muck heap. Time for the sheep to be milked. Let's go and have a look. Here come the sheep, can you hear them bleating? Here from the field, let's get ready to milk them. This is the dairy built in a barn. It's a very important part of the farm. Now the sheep must find their places. seen that some sheep need to have their feet checked. The vet is called to help. Les is going to help get the sheep into the holder so that the vet can have a good look. They are happy with that one. Now it's time for the next one. Oh no, silly Les. He's let the sheep run straight through. Let's have another go. Oh no, he's let them run through again. I think the sheep are playing a game. 
Oh, well done. They have managed to get it in. She is, isn't she? No, she's not done up yet. Oh. The vet takes a good look at the foot and uses a special blue spray to help it get better. All done. The other sheep are back from milking. But before they're let in, they need a nice, clean bed. The farmer drives the tractor along as the straw chopper chops and blows clean straw into the sheep's barn. Please hurry up. We're getting a little wet out here. What a nice clean bed. Lucky sheep. Oh, I'd better get out of their way. Wow, what a lovely clean barn. Thank you, Farmer Tom. I've got some exciting news. Some lambs have been born. Let's go and see. Here they are. Aren't they sweet? Can we go see the lambs? Come down this way. Oh, look, the children have come to see them too. Yeah, come, this one's here. Babies, baby lambs. The lambs are all having a drink of milk. Can you hear the lambs bleating? Farmer Tom helps the children into the pen to have a look. The lambs feel all soft and warm. Farmer Tom shows the lamb to the children. He puts it down gently. Alfie wants to feed one of the lambs. He's spraying everyone with the milk. <laughs> Alfie thinks it's really funny. <laughs> Watch out, wait, Farmer wait. Tom. Wait. The children have enjoyed seeing the lambs. It's the end of another long day. Farmer Tom has finished his work and is back at the farmhouse. Midge has had a fun day too. Tom. Hello, Farmer Tom. Hello, Tractor Ted. Look, that's Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. I wonder where they're going. Let's go and see. Farmer Tom is silage making today. Silage is food for the animals in winter. It's made from grass. Well, 
Here he is. Look, Les is here too. First, Farmer Tom and Les check the grass to see if it's ready to cut. The grass is as high as my wheels. I'm going to check the grass too. The grass is so tall, Mitch can hardly see over it. She goes to check the grass in Merlin's field. Merlin! Merlin! Does your grass need cutting? No, my grass just needs eating. By me. <laughs> oh, good! The children are here. Hi, children. You all right? The children and their mummy arrive, and Farmer Tom shows them that the grass is ready to be made into silage. He's off to get the mower. <laughs> what are you doing? They're hiding in the grass. What fun. <laughs> Where have they gone, Les? <laughs> Les can't see me either. Every time Les turns around, the children hide. <laughs> They're having a lot of fun. Oh, there they are. I can see you hiding. Clever, Les! Can you hear the tractor coming? Les takes the children out of the way. Come on, Midge. Here comes Farmer Tom. Farmer Tom, can I watch, please? Of course you can, Tractor Ted. Follow the mower, but not too close, and try and keep off the cut grass. Whoa! I'd better move out of the way! Farmer Tom moves the mower into position and starts it up. The blades whiz around and cut the grass. Up and down the field it goes. And up and down goes Tractor Ted. Whoa, not too close to the mower, Ted. Farmer Tom said not too close and not on the grass. This is fun. The grass is cut into neat rows. Once the grass is cut, it has to be raked up. The long arms are unfolded into position. They go down very slowly. When it starts up, the rakes spin around and around. Tractors. Let's count them. One, two, three, four tractors and the forager. Everyone climbs up into their cabs. Come on, everyone. The grass is all ready to collect. Off we go.
all the machines follow Tractor Ted. Here they come. Here we are! First into the field is the red tractor. And then the blue tractor. And here is the forager. It will pick up all the cut grass. The red tractor drives up next to the forager. Now the spout can be moved over the trailer. Can you guess what happens next? Whoosh! It is blowing all the grass into the trailer. As the forager drives along, it chops up the grass and blows it out through the spout. trailer already. As soon as one trailer is filled, another one is ready to take its place. Once the trailers are full, they are driven back to the farm. All the grass will be stored in the silage clamp. Here it is. I wonder what happens next. The tractor reverses back and tips up the trailer. Whoosh! Out comes all the grass. What is that on the front of the tractor? I'll ask Farmer Tom. Farmer Tom, what's that on the tractor? That's a buck rake, Ted. A buck rake? The buck rake is used to push the grass up into a bigger and bigger heap. I wish I had a buck rake. I could push and push. Oh, Ted, you're not big enough for a buck rake. But you can help us squash the grass down if you like. Can I really? Go on then, before the heap gets too high. Follow that tractor. The grass has to be pushed up and squashed down. Tractor Ted is helping. then they won't need any of mine. You could share it. You've got such a lot. Oh, well, if they run out, I might. I must get back to Farmer Tom. Bye, Merlin. Of course I'd share some. I'm not that grumpy. Farmer Tom will make enough silage to feed the cows all through the winter. That's the last trailer load done. Farmer Tom and Les are finished for the day. Making silage is tractorific! Top dog fun! Farmer Tom says goodbye to Les. It's the end of a long day. Farmer Tom and Midge are back at the farmhouse, and so is Tractor Ted. They will have enough silage to feed the cows in the winter. Now I know how silage is made. There's always so much to see on the farm. Come back soon. Bye. Are you ready? Tractor Ted is asleep in his shed as the cockerel says good morning. So much to do. Farmer Tom and Mitch too down on the farm exploring. Welcome to the farm with Tractor Ted. Let's go see.
Tractor Ted, and I live on a farm. This is the farmhouse. And here's Farmer Tom. Hello, Farmer Tom. Hello, Tractor Ted. Look, that's Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. <laughs> Hello, Tractor Ted. I wonder where they're going. Today, they are going to help with harvesting the wheat. On the way, Tractor Ted calls in to see some friends. Hello, everyone! <laughs> three children and three fluffy bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them hopping around! Can you hop like a rabbit? I can hop too! <laughs> The children are being shown how to make a bed for the rabbits. It's made using straw. Here, do you need some more? Thank you, Tractor Ted. What a lovely bed the children are making for the rabbits. I'm going with Farmer Tom and Midge the dog to help harvest the wheat. There will be lots of straw there. It's fantastic! I'll come back later and tell you all about it. See you later! Tractor Ted needs to hurry up. Farmer Tom and Midge will be there already. He speeds past Merlin in his field. Hello, Tractor Ted. Sorry, Merlin. No time to stop. Hmm, where's Tractor Ted off to in such a hurry? Here is the field full of wheat. I'm here, Farmer Tom! Wow, that's a lot of wheat. What are you going to use to harvest it all? Come this way and I'll show you. This huge machine is a combine harvester. Wow, it's gigantic. Wait for me. <gasps> it really is a giant machine. Look out for the sharp teeth, Midge. There's a lot of work to do today, harvesting all that wheat. Look, here come the children. They have brought a picnic with them. Hello, children. Hi. Farmer Tom is checking to see if the wheat is ready. He rubs the ears of wheat and shows the children the grain inside. This is what they want to collect. That looks ready to me, Farmer Tom. They can make some yummy biscuits with that. The children are having a go too. Farmer Tom climbs up into the cab. It's a long way up. He lifts the header up off the ground. And starts harvesting. Wow, look at the combine harvester. It's fantastic! I'd better keep a safe distance from it. As the combine drives along, it cuts the wheat and shakes out the grain. All the stalks are blown back out onto the ground. This is straw, which can be used for animals' beds.
mine. It has caterpillar tracks instead of wheels. Track terrific! Picnic time! <laughs> I'm going to get there first! The children are having a picnic with lots of yummy food. The great job that the combine has done. And look, now the baler's here. As the baler drives along, it collects up the straw and squashes it into big bales. Tractor Ted! Tractor Ted! Let's play hide and seek! I'll hide and you see if you can find me! Okay, ready, go! Where are you, Midge? <laughs> are you behind this bale? <laughs> Do you think you can see me? Midge! Uh, <laughs> or this one? Oh, uh, can you see me? <laughs> What a fun game they've had. That's the combining done. I've got plenty of straw for Merlin now. Come on, Mitch, let's get on. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye, everyone. See you at the rabbits, Midge. Tractor Ted and Midge find the children outside with the rabbits. They're enjoying the sunshine. This is my friend, Midge the dog. Hello, Midge. Look, Midge, these are the rabbits that they have been learning to look after. That's the same as the straw we have seen today. Tractor Ted, tell them about the combine. We saw a huge combine which harvested all the wheat. Guess how big it was. This big. Much bigger. It was so big that I didn't even come up to the door. Farmer Tom had to climb some steep steps to get up to the cab. Wow! It harvested all the wheat and the stalks left on the ground are straw. We've had such a tedtastic day today, but we've got to go now. Bye! Bye. Merlin! Merlin! We saw the combine harvesting all the wheat and a baler came along and baled up all the straw left on the ground. Now you've got a nice straw bed. Hmm, I do like straw. It's tasty too. Oh, Merlin, you are funny. Come on, Midge. Home time. Bye, Bye Merlin. Merlin. What a tantastic day we've had, harvesting the wheat. I hope you had fun too. Are you ready? Tractor Ted is asleep in his shed as the cockerel says good morning. So much to do, Father Tom and Mitch too. Tractor Ted and I live on a farm. This is the farmhouse. And here's Farmer Tom. Hello, Farmer Tom. Hello, Tractor Ted. Look, that's Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. I wonder where they're going. 
Today, Farmer Tom is going to show the children how black currants are harvested. On the way, Tractor Ted stops to say hello to his friend Merlin. Hi, Merlin. Oh, hello, Ted. <laughs> oh, Merlin, you are grumpy. <sighs> Guess what we're going to see today? They are a fruit and are small and round, like you. <laughs> Hmm, well, what could that be? I'll give you a clue. They start with a B and they grow on bushes. I haven't got time for games, Tractor Ted. OK, they are blackcurrants and they are really juicy. Hmm, well, I've never tried a blackcurrant. Oh, I nearly forgot. It's Leah's birthday today and she's having a party. I said I would go and say hello. See you later. <laughs> Happy birthday, Leah. Hiya. What have you got for your birthday tea? Yummy black currant juice. Yummy black currant jam. Oh, wow, it looks yummy. Who wants to know how black currants grow? Me! 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 me. I'd better go. I've got to meet Farmer Tom and Midge. Bye! Bye, Tractor Ted. Farmer Tom and Midge have just arrived at the blackcurrant farm. Come on, Midge. Wait for me! Wow, these blackcurrant bushes are really tall. Oh, you are very small. Midge didn't see Tractor Ted arriving. Hey, Tractor Ted, where have you been? I went to see Leah on the way. She was having a party and they had blackcurrant jam sandwiches. Look, Midge, the bush goes all the way to my door. Oh, look, the children have been hiding. The bushes are almost as high as their heads. Tractor Ted, you said I was small, but I'm very fast. Let's have a race. Ha <laughs> ha you're on! Fantastic fun! Come on, Midge! Whee! <laughs> now the children are racing too. Come on, Tractor Ted. Keep up. <laughs> You're all faster than me. I'm going to find some juicy blackcurrants. OK, I'll go and find the others. The bushes in the next field are much taller and are full of lovely, juicy blackcurrants. They look really yummy. Farmer Tom is checking them to see if they are ripe enough to harvest. Oh, look, here comes Les. He's got their lunch in his picnic basket. I wonder if there are blackcurrant jam sandwiches in there. Uh-oh, looks like Les has forgotten to pick up the basket. Tom, I've come to see the harvester, but that tractor looks too small. That's mowing between the bushes to keep the weeds down. Can I go and watch it? Yes, but be careful. Thanks, Farmer Tom. The cutters on the front mow the weeds and grass. Up and down the rows it goes. Whoa! I better move. Farmer Tom said be careful. Look, look, there's the harvester. 
I'm such a happy harvester with a job I have to do. I'm picking all the black currants, I'm picking them for you. I pick them from the bushes and then they whiz along into the trailer as we sing our black current song. They are juicy and squeezy, they make us drink. Tom and Les are helping. I'm such a happy harvester with a job I have to do. I'm picking all the black currants, I'm picking them for you. Wow, look at how many bushes there are. Juicy and squeezy, so yummy and so sweet. Juicy and squeezy, black currants we love to And look at all the berries! That will make lots of jam! Oh no! That's Leslie's picnic basket! And Farmer Tom said I need to keep a safe distance from the harvester! Close. Well done, Les. Your lunch has been saved. When the boxes are full of blackcurrants, they are taken back to the farm. Forklift lifts them up and loads them into a huge lorry, which will take them to the factory. That's tractor-tastic! There are so many blackcurrants! Follow me! I'm going to go and see some new blackcurrant bushes being planted. The children are all having a go. They plant baby bushes carefully into the ground and soon they will start to grow and grow. Yeah, you can. Where are you going to put yours? Just there. Would you like another one? Bye. It's time to go home. The children have had so much fun on the farm today. What a great day we've had! Come on, Midge, let's go and tell Merlin all about it. Tractor Ted and Midge run back to see Merlin. Merlin! Merlin! We have been having so much fun today. What have you been doing to have so much fun? Come over here and I'll tell you. We had a big race, and even though I'm small, I showed Tractor Ted and the children how fast I was. I know. Why don't you and Tractor Ted have a race? Yes, come on, Merlin. It'll be fun. Please, Merlin. Really? Oh, OK, then. <laughs> of the day was seeing how the juicy, squeezy blackcurrants grow. First, 
I stopped to say happy birthday to Leah. And the children were eating blackcurrant sandwiches. Do blackcurrants grow on trees like delicious apples? No, they grow on a bush. They need to use a mower to keep all the grass and weeds down. Then a huge harvester comes along and takes all the berries off the bushes. And Les nearly got his picnic run over. Hmm, that does sound like a fun day. Midge, tracks are tired. Father Tom's calling us. Come on, Midge, we need to go. Bye, tractor Ted. Bye, Midge. Bye, Merlin. Bye, Merlin. Are you ready? Bye, Farmer Tom. Bye, Midge. We have had so much fun seeing how blackcurrants grow. I hope you had fun too. See you again soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Tractor Ted and I live on a farm. This is the farmhouse. And here's Farmer Tom. Hello, Farmer Tom. Hello, Tractor Ted. Look, that's Midge the dog. She's very cheeky. <laughs> Hello, Tractor Ted. I wonder where they're going. We have a busy day ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Who's that calling Tractor Ted? everyone. What are you doing? Painting wow, what colours are you painting? Purple and orange. What fun the children are having painting their eggs. What colour is yours? My eggs green tracks, Ted, just like you. Wow, they all look fantastic. We're going to collect lots of eggs today. Do you know where they come from? Chickens! <laughs> Yes! When I come back, I'll tell you all about it. See you later! He nearly bumped into the chicken. Farmer Tom and Midge have arrived at the farm where the chickens live. Look, here they are. They have been safe and cosy in the barn for the night. Now it's time for them to come outside into the morning sunshine. They're enjoying a peck around. It's a lovely sunny day. Oh, look, here's Les. He's come to give Farmer Tom and Midge a lift in the Argo Cat. It's great for bumpy tracks like this one. Hey, hey, wait for me! Look, Tractor Ted's here. I like bumpy tracks too! The children wanted to show me the eggs that they were painting. They came from chickens just like these. They're not all chickens, Ted. Some are cockerels. Are they the ones with sticky up combs on their heads? Yes, they are. <laughs> Listen to them! Cock a doodle doo! The cockerels crow and the chickens cluck. And the chickens lay eggs. Look! Look, what's that? I know it's not a chicken. Oh, it's just a goat, Midge. <laughs> he looks really big to me. But he looks like he's smiling. They are very friendly goats. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at his feet. And look at the chickens. Let's see yours, Midge. All their feet are different. The goat has hooves. The chickens have feet with four toes, and Midge has paws. 
Tractors don't have feet. We have wheels. Wow! Look at this tractor! It has wheels called caterpillar tracks. Look at its big engine. The farmer is seeing how much oil it has. This is called a dipstick. It shows him that there is enough oil in the engine to run properly. One, two, three. Four steps up to the cab. It's a long way up. The farmer turns the key and starts up the engine. The tractor is noisier than the chickens. Caterpillar tracks help the tractor drive over muddy ground. Every day, the chickens are fed. Farmer Tom needs to fill the food hopper. He's helping to load it onto the forks of the tractor. It isn't very easy. Mind out, chicken. That's it. Well done. You got it. You got it, Les. Now they need to fill it up. This huge tank is full of food for the hungry chickens. Chickens, chickens, it's time to give them tea. Chickens, chickens, lay eggs for you and me. Fill up the hopper, the chickens need a lot. Whoosh goes the grain, let's fill it to the top. Cluck, 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 we hear the chickens go. Cockle doo doo, we hear the cockle crow. Brum, brum goes the tractor as it drives down to the shed. The chickens. Children have come to collect some eggs. Come in and see the chickens. Yes. Come on, then. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look. The chickens are enjoying their food. They lay all their eggs inside, which are then collected up. The children need to be careful not to crack any. Once they've given them a clean, they put them into some trays.
I wonder what Les is doing with those eggs. Watch out for the stag! Oops. Oh. One is broken. Mmm, yum, yum! Oh, Midge, you are cheeky. Picnic time! Les has made a picnic for everyone. What's in the sandwiches? I know, it's egg! My favourite! That's what Les needed the eggs for. Come on, Midge. We need to go and tell the other children all about our day. Back at the farm, all the eggs have been painted. Hi, everyone. This is my friend Midge. Hello, Hello, Midge. Hello, Midge. Midge and I have been to see the chickens who laid all these eggs. There were lots of them. The chickens all went cluck cluck, <laughs> and the cockles went cock a doodle doo. I liked looking at the tractor with the caterpillar tracks. It spun around like me. Whee! Farmer Tom's calling us. We'd better go. Bye. Tractor Ted and Midge head back to the farmhouse. I wonder if there'll be any more egg sandwiches to eat. Bye, Farmer Tom! Bye, Midge! Bye, Tractor Ted! What a fantastic day we've had! I hope you enjoyed seeing where eggs come from. See you again soon! Bye! <laughs>